Every new technology comes in with astonishment. Technology goes on this arc from the WTF of astonishment to the WTF of dismay. The best technologies become part of our daily life. And that's the arc that we should be looking for, for technologies like artificial intelligence, where they take us from amazement to acceptance, to power, to new abilities. What I have found studying technology over the decades is it does exactly what we tell it to do. It's not technology that's taking away jobs. It's the way we are directing technology to take away jobs. When technology is used correctly, it lets us do things that you could never do before. Amazon, for example, has introduced 45,000 robots into their warehouses. At the same time, they've hired hundreds of thousands of more workers. Why? Because they keep upping the ante. Today, you take it for granted that you can whip out your smartphone and call a car and it finds you, a needle in the haystack of the city. We all know where we are at any moment, and we're starting to figure out what services can we build with that. That's an example of doing more with technology. And so an ordinary person faced with all this change may feel helpless. I believe that technology of today can be an engine of enormous prosperity for all of us. And if we want to take control of the future, we have to own that future. We have to become part of it. And I'm trying to give the average person tools for understanding what is coming at us. The future is not inevitable. It's up to us.